Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Guns of Glory. I'm Swill from Swill Entertainment Channel, and we're bringing you guys another Red Guard raid. Alright, so this is for the people that don't even get a chance to do this. I'm going to go ahead and try to push this out to the end. I won't make the video that long. I'll do bits and pieces of it, so you're going to see like cuts and stuff like that. Just so we can go to the end, because these things actually last about two hours. And I can't sit here for two hours on video doing that, so I don't want to bore you guys half to death. So we're going to skip around a little bit so you guys can see exactly what the Red Guard Raid is all about. Okay? So right now, you can reinforce your people. Uh, depending on how many marches you have, I have three marches right now. So I can reinforce three sets of people with however many troops I want. Alright? But you don't want to set all your troops in one spot because then your base is not going to be protected. Alright. So, let's see. I've got a couple. Let me see if I Yep. Everybody we're defending so far has successful defenses, so we're good. We're going to get some points for that. Alright, so Red Guard Raids aren't really the best loot, but it's, it's, it's fun. It's a fun thing to do with your alliance. So if you're looking for something to do, there you go. So some people are getting whipped up right now. I don't know who's all in good shape right now. I know that I'm in good shape. I know everybody else is in good shape that's around me. That I'm reinforcing. They're in good shape. And that's about it. points. And I probably should put some more troops inside the bases, but like I said, I don't want to make my base. In the last last Red Guard raid, I was the last one standing basically. I don't want to, um, because nobody reinforces me ever. I don't understand why, but that's fine. I have plenty of troops that can withstand pretty much everything. So we're not going for like a lot of points. We're going for like about, you know, a good amount of points here and there. All right, so that's the calm before the storm. And then at some point, we are going to have to reinforce our fortress. And you want to make sure you have the highest troops possible. I think the highest I have is tier six on this account. So that's the highest we have for me. So anyone that has the tier seven have to go in first, and then we start following in with the tier six and the fives. And that's what you want to do, essentially. So I got my farm account in. That's one of them, the ones that I'm actually reinforcing, but I don't want him to go out too fast. So we'll just go a little bit here and there, a little bit there. All right, we're just gonna be playing some other stuff in the background. But yeah, this is a long, long two hours, guys. I think they should lessen the time to like an hour or something like that. Even a half hour, not a whole two hours. <clears throat> Alright, 
so we have an attack coming in 50 seconds. And what I should do is get my, my farm account to reinforce me a little bit. Just to give me a good, uh, just get some points on that account too. I don't want to just let that one just not get anything. You know what I mean, guys? Get some points. <clears throat> Free points at that. And when you reinforce, make sure you don't put your dragon, guys. Or my, not my dragon, but my... Oh, I get that one back. I always do that, because by default. <clears throat> Need my dragon, man. Really pay attention. It's just by default. That's what I hate. I wish you had to like click on it um, manually for it to to go. Now I gotta go back and see which one. I'm glad I, I'm glad I thought about that. Jeez. I gotta take my own advice sometimes. All right, let me see. What's going on? All right, so it came back. I'm going to reinforce it here. And 420. Oh. I'm going to Click off the dragon. I'm going to put about almost 2,000 on this one. Because I don't want them to whip it up too bad. Alright, so I got my farm. has some farm troops to help me out. You guys are gonna hear a lot of clicking, but I'm doing a lot of stuff on the computer in the background. So. Like I said, we're gonna be flipping back and forth. We're gonna be pausing the video here and there. Just to see you guys get the full two hour effect. I can't sit here for two hours making two hour video. That's just not gonna work. So we're just waiting for the next one to pop up and waiting for someone to say, hey, go to the send reinforcements. To the fortress. Alright, so everything is pretty much the same right now. Nothing has changed. We are still doing the regular attacks to make sure there's no non-successful defenses. Yep, they're all successful so far. That's a good thing. Alright, let's see. Make sure everything... Yep, on the, yep, on the front account, everything's good there too. Good stuff. So everyone around me is safe. And still more of the same stuff, guys. Not missing anything at all. Just getting the full fledge of the attacks right now. And that's going to be about it until we have to defend the fortress. Which should be coming up pretty soon. Alright, so the fortress is about to pop up now. Um, I think after this attack, this wave, then it's going to be the fortress time. We're coming up really soon. And we're going to pop in our tier 7s and our tier 6s first. And then we'll just drink along down, which is going to cover all of it anyway, so it doesn't matter if we have to go tier 5, tier 4, it's not going to happen because we have plenty of tier 6s and 7s that are going to be able to take it out and defend more than likely.
All right, so there we go. We're starting to put some troops into the fort. It's gonna get filled up pretty fast, so it's not like it's really important or anything like that. Everybody's not gonna get the opportunity to do that. The points. They're probably gonna send some troops back in there. Somebody send them along and stuff. And one thing I didn't send, I didn't put any. Uh, Okay, now everybody's starting to say, I'm about to say. Let's see if it's getting full yet. Yeah, it's going to get full really fast. Okay, so one person got tier 7. That's all he got for tier 7. Jeez. <clears throat> I missed my tier 7, man. Nobody else has tier 7. There's only like one person, two people have tier 7. Not many. I will assume. I think we're going to stop at this point after I show you guys the fortress. Because I don't want to wait to the end. It's going to be the same thing over and over again, guys. You're going to wait to see the, the last man standing is. That's pretty much all it's going to be. Alright, so I think we're pretty much... Let me see if it's getting full yet. Nope, not even half. So are they sending siege? Anybody put siege troops in there? Because I didn't put siege in there. Actually, I'm going to put my siege troops in there because I haven't done that yet. Let me go ahead and garrison my tier 6. I didn't put the siege in there, I'll put tier 6 for the siege in. send their, their little raids in there. Oh man, they send a lot. So that's why the reason why you have to have higher tier troops. You don't want to put the little, the little ones in there again and they're not lose. Uh, so you want to make sure you put all of your high tier ones in there first. And it looks like I got a lot of farming to do this weekend because I think the kill event what killed last weekend for me. That's what I hate about the kill event, man. It stops me from farming. So I miss out on a lot of, a lot of action I could possibly get. Faster because you know, it's still not even full yet. I mean, a little bit quicker. Okay, so got all of our troops in. And I think we're gonna start putting some tier fives in. Let's 
you start seeing some tier fives in, I'll start putting some tier fives. So now they're gonna send their, their troops. Now we gotta send them a lot. Let me see, we gonna make it? I wanna make sure we make it. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Hope it's gonna be a success, not a fail. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a success. It usually is. Attack is coming. Success. I think it might be. Oh, it's coming up still. It's still coming. There we go. And they're sending a whole lot of stuff. Let's see. Let's check out the troop info. Um, they're sending 356,832 troops. Tier 4s, Tier 3s. Yeah, Tier 4s and 3s what they're sending. And each time they do their wave, they send higher troops. So it's not like... It's gonna be this low every time. They're gonna send like some higher level tier troops after a while. Probably the third or fourth wave or so. Something like that. Never really stick it out that way. Alright, so here we go. Moment of truth, guys. Attack is imminent. So slow. So slow, so slow, so slow, so
Alright, so that was pretty much it right there. Um, success? Please? Yes? Yes. Successfully fast. Perfect. Alright, so they sent level 10 Red Guard Captain, and that's pretty much how it goes, guys. We need to hit the march on back. Get back. Alright, so I think my farm is pretty much out. Almost. I don't want it to be out yet, so we're gonna just put some troops into that one. Let's reinforce it a little bit. We'll put like. Yeah, let's put some 2 6. I don't want to be out. I'm going to put all my 2 6 that I got left. Which is not very many. But it's better than nothing, so. Gotta get something in there. Back on our grind, guys. Back on our grind. Let's go ahead and put some more troops. Actually, I need to pick this up back out. Oh, somebody putting some in? Nice, nice, nice. I don't think I'm putting more in. I'm going to call my two spearmen back. I didn't mean to send that little. I'm going to send some more. Like a couple thousand. Wrap this up. Okay. Those are there. Raiding supplies. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, damn. I gotta put the damn dragon in, too? Jeez. Well, no one's attacking my farm right now, anyway, so let me bring that one back. That's what I hate about it. I'm telling you guys. They need to make it to where you don't have to, you have to automatically. It doesn't automatically uh, accept. Mark with the, with the dragon. It's, it's convenient, you know, because in case you forget to put the dragon in there. But if you didn't mean to send a dragon, it's like, oh crap. You know what I mean? Alright, so in the meantime, let's go ahead and get some reinforcements on these other guys. Alright, so there we go. 420 is getting jacked up a little bit. Let's go ahead and reinforce them a bit. Take that dragon out. Take out the dragon. Should be good now, guys. Should be good now. We got our dragon. Or oh, no, I don't like to call it dragon. Our blimp. That's our blimp. So it's going to be success. Great success. That's all for the marches right there. That's all we're going to do. We're going to wrap this one up, guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.